So, all right, so here's the actual progression of your push-up after you've tightened up your um, the ones, your, the ones on the counter, it's 20. Um, we're going to actually go lower. Now, I could go lower to this because this is uh, 24 inches, which is lower than the counter. In your home, more likely, you're going to have to go all the way down to a chair. So if you've got 20 solid ones on a counter, a drop to a chair is a significant drop. Now, I'm putting that against the wall but, so it doesn't slide away, but technically I shouldn't have to because I should be up vertical above this enough that it doesn't try to slide. If I'm back here on a kitchen floor, it's going to slide. Then you might need a wall, but you really want to be up here. As always, do your, do your setup. Get a one set up like this and then lock it in. And now you're down lower and you've got more of a fixed uh, uh, width to work with. And once again, it's all the same stuff. You're going to come down here, long spine, chin tucked back, driving them through. If you want to add your um, leg out on these, always a fan of that. If, if, I, if I throw that leg out and my back sags, it's, I'm not ready for it. i got to have the core strength to take that leg out, squeeze that flying glute and erector, and keep that up there. Not very high. Notice it's not more than six inches off the floor. And I'm pressing, and I'm adducting, and I'm depressing those shoulders, and I'm breathing all the way through. Try to alternate it so you get about a third on one leg, about a third on the other leg, and about a third on two legs. Doesn't matter much. Just mix them up. Focus on your push. Focus on the muscle group of interest, which is the pecs, of course. Bringing those together, full, full compression, contraction of the top, trying to get that fake cleavage, pushing the elbows together. Really master these. You've got a good foundation. Now let's get really into our body awareness, into those muscles to get maximum gain per rep. Nice upgrade.